8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage, lift off from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. Punching a hole through the clouds, 20 seconds into the flight, good pitch program reported. Vehicle performance is nominal. The Ariane 5 rocket continues uh, to fly uphill in nominal fashion. The rumble of the powerful Ariane 5 now being felt here in the control center. 3D animation, 13 kilometers in altitude, 7 kilometers downrange, traveling uh, about uh, 0.6 kilometers per second. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux. The trajectory reported to be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. When the computer detects this threshold, it will separate. Separation des EAP. Done. We have confirmation of solid rocket booster separation from Jean-Luc Voyer. This coming at an altitude of 44 miles. The Ariane 5 and James Webb traveling almost 5,000 miles an hour. We have about one minute, five seconds to go before fairing jettison. That'll be the next critical milestone. The fairing is there to avoid the satellite being exposed to high temperatures and also high air flows. And as soon as the launcher leaves the atmosphere, as is now the case, the satellite does not need anymore to be protected and, and web does not need anymore to be protected. So each kilogram being very important for the performance of the launch, we are going to eject this no more useful fairing. And let's go down to the floor uh, in the Jupiter Control Center to Raphael Chevrier of Ariane Spas. Raphael, so far so good. Hi, Rob. So far, so good. Everything is nominal, as uh, we say, when attitude and trajectory of the Ariane 5 is going perfectly well, as you can see also on the yellow line, de la coiffe. on the screen. We had the confirmation of the uh, separation of the two solid boosters and now of the fairing, meaning that we have crossed the limits of the atmosphere. So everything is going super good. And the DDO just said that all parameters are going perfectly, perfectly smoothly. So let's continue the mission. And Raphael, uh, this is a view uh, from the upper stage camera called the Vicky Cam here in the control room. There's your telescope, ready to unfurl uh, its uh, wings, ba basically, and begin uh, its uh, journey to a, the Lagrange point, the L2 point, about a million miles away from Earth. The trajectory is nominal. Trajectory is nominal. The report from Jean-Luc Voyer. Operation EPC. And we have main stage shutdown and separation confirmed here in the Mission Control Center and the ignition of that upper stage. PSC. And Raphael Chevrier down uh, in the fishbowl. Uh, so far, so good. Yes, Rob, we have the confirmation of the separation of the main stage and the ignition the of the upper stage. The trajectory is perfectly nominal. This is a very important moment for us because it's always a, uh, a challenge to switch on a cryogenic engine in space condition, and we are now at 220 kilometers of altitude. Speed is a bit more than seven kilometers per second. As we enter now the second stage of uh, the second uh, phase uh, of uh, the flight, the upper stage is going to power for about, calm. for about 16 minutes to place Webb on its transfer orbit. And right now, everything is again nominal, as the DDO just said. And we're standing by for upper stage shutdown and uh, the cutoff of the uh, upper stage engine. Extraction OSC. Tu 
paramètres à bord sont normaux. The extinction of the, the shut -off. Séparation Web Space Telescope. Go Web We do have confirmation of observatory separation. The James Webb Space Telescope amidst applause here in the Mission Control Center, now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery. It was a perfect ride to orbit. And all of the uh, separation uh, sequence events are running in good fashion, according to the telescope controllers. And there is the view uh, from the upper stage camera on the Ariane 5 looking at the James Webb Space Telescope as it moves uh, gently away from its launch vehicle.